and welcome back to the vibe now it's time to get a little suspicious with us on two sus for us Today I have an absolutely bone-chilling mystery oh, of the okay. Sally House. Ooh, it's known Sally. to be one of America's <laughs> most haunted locations. And whether it's haunted by many, many ghosts or demons, nobody knows. But I do. Anyway, <laughs> so there was a couple. Their name was Deborah and Tony Pickman. They moved to the house in 1993. Write it down. Fact check me. Anyways, right. so okay. Tony would actually get bruised, cut, and burned, okay? Oh. And see, originally it was called the Sally House because they first thought it was just one ghost, which was thought to be the ghost of this young girl named Sally. Now, when I checked their website, they have actually collected evidence of there being over 10 spirits with completely different personalities, different names, and out of which Sally is actually the most pleasant. The land is incredibly old, housing many, many different occupants, out of which one was named Joanna Barnes, and she created huge amounts of trouble. Now, it's actually suspected that Joanna is the ghost that actually cut, bruised, and burned Tony Pickman when he lived there. So anyway, she actually killed her own son in that house, and Whoa. she went to the mental hospital various times. And now the part of the mystery is that a lot of ghosts that have mental issues before they died, they can be as unsettling and as confused and as uh, vicious as demonic entities. Mm. Okay, so people, um, they think that she's the one who physically harmed Tony. Okay, this is a ghost that would physically harm this man. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so it's it's likely that a negative energy lives in the basement because many different uh, people have come to investigate this, like professionals. And Ghostbusters. They, yes, and there's a hole, <laughs> there's a hole in the basement next to this big, um, like uh, some kind of energy source. And they say that this, if it is a demon, it most likely lives in the back of that hole and feeds off of the electrical energy coming from the basement's wires. And they actually found a satanic, um, <laughs> what? I'm they just, found I'm satanic symbols. I'm just waiting until you tell oh me my all gosh. these facts. This is the scariest <laughs> this. This input. is the scariest thing. One woman that came to the house, I believe she was a resident for a very short time, uh, she actually said that one night she woke up and right, laying right next to her was a full body apparition of this decrepit face. Does she have pictures of this decrepit face? No, it, it disappeared in a couple of seconds. <laughs> just imagine <laughs> her taking a selfie. <laughs> Don't Look move. at me and my just Don't move. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, yeah. okay, where was this located? Where did this happen? So, um, this I unfortunately... Am don't have the facts! <laughs> no, that. I Ooh. don't have the facts. You cannot fact check me. So but how anyway. do we know where this happened? It was in one of these old towns. I believe it was like in the Midwest somewhere. It's actually, um, a lot of the neighbors actually noticed that um, these uh, disruptions... Disruptions... I can't speak. Dis we got Disruptances it. were real. That's really <laughs> ironic. The fact you were disrupted as you were saying the word disrupted. Demonic, in fact. No. No. Okay, I have to but talk yes, to you about the this. But yes, the neighbors even they the neighbors oh, even the saw neighbors. it happen. I just want to know: Do Tony and Deborah still live in this house? No, but they have Good. gone back various times to investigate it. Mm. Okay, let's. All right. End you it said there. your piece. Mm -hmm. I'm a little confused. Confused. Um, I do believe that. Uh, houses can entail like spirits and like people from the past who lived there and died. Mm -hmm. I Ugh. feel like the. Oh my uh, god! Is that Joanna? Ah! Uh -huh, that's why I'm in the turtleneck <laughs> today. You it. But I, okay, so I um, I agree. I agree that houses can have that spiritual energy. Like if something bad happens, maybe that energy is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to think that there's a demonic spirit living have in a you hole not in your basement. Any of the paranormal activity. I have, and they're they're not scary. I'm sorry, but the other okay. thing, the other thing. Did is you watch that, Insidious? No. Okay, then you need to watch that, and you will believe. I that agree. Do you realize awesome. that studio effects? Like it's like I won an Oscar for being in uh, Insidious because but, I'm an actor, and but, also that didn't happen. But some of these stories are based on true. Yeah, they are facts and. Just, Stories but, that have happened. Okay, we should okay, continue we, on your use with the yes. word facts, guys. First okay. off, you continue on what your what's your baseline? Tell okay, me. so my baseline is people. The scientists over here. No, who things only go bump. In facts. Things go bump in the night. All right, 
they say. Like, you know, you're 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 going to the kitchen to get some milk at night and you see like a shadow. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna obvi- I'm not gonna automatically say that's a ghost. Oh my god, my house is haunted. All right. I I just think that people are too likely to jump to conclusions and I'm guessing these what what are their names? Deborah, Deborah and Tony, and Tony. <laughs> which are like the whitest names Stop. ever. It's like <laughs> My Very friend generic. Jack and her friend Jill, like, okay. So Deborah and Tony Pickman, mm-hmm. if that's even their real names, um, <laughs> you know, they, they could have easily just seen something, made this fabricated story, mm-hmm. had their 15 minutes of fame, and then moved into a bigger mansion house that apparently doesn't have ghosts. But I, don't, I don't see why I'm fibbing or telling the truth about a story like this would get you money. Yeah, it wouldn't. To- because be they like, had moved out long ago because they knew something was wrong. And when Tony, I believe he, there was an incident where he got, when he got burned, I believe, was when they moved out. Before that, he would wake up with scratches on his back and bruises. But when he got burned, they knew something wasn't right. So they left, actually. What if it was like a rabbit cat? Okay. What? No? You, yeah. would, you would just wake up one day and have a cat bite you. They would, but they listen would to this. The hole okay, listen basement, to this though. Listen to this. They actually, one of the 10 ghosts that they have, um, you know, known about is actually a slave. So do you think that demonic entities, which are, you know, negative energies, yeah. do you think they're attracted to things like lynchings that might have happened on that ground back in the slave days? That is possible. And that wow. is also way too sus for me to handle. Mrs. Funny Bones. That's just so <laughs> funny. Like Akshay Kumar would have married somebody like this. It's That's so funny. So I love it. But um, she, I, I, I do think, have a question, though, yes. um, which her legal birth name, Twinkle? I don't know. 